Music Club Episodes I would be explaining what the candlesticks were for. If you paid attention, you might ask, well, what are, what's those you big llamas for? That's what she said. Video, uh, well, I said I was going to add in a little something. All right. And I'm on vacation. So, a lot of you is probably wondering, you know, it's the Glock episodes. Well, That's why. Yeah. So, yeah. So there's that. So I'm going to add a little something to it. Um, I'm going to try and like, I want to try and like distract myself a little Titties. bit. You know, this thing where Titties you're, you know, I, I, I like the idea where I've been doing the pistol fundamentals a little bit and I want to loosen up. I want to cut loose. That's what we're doing. All right. I want to go ahead and do a little like bit of transitioning too. drills again. And not only that, but now, because now I didn't nah, couldn't do this with the BP9, nah, but now nah, I can nah. actually do some mag changes, you know, between the two. You know, I could take this one and grab hold of that and throw it in. I could get stupid and if I have to, throw the shorty in, you know what I mean? And be done with it. So we might do some simulations where we have a failure. We go from shorty to the shtick. You know? And uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. I mean, and if you're if Sophia, you're just tuning in, named it appropriately. You know, you're familiar with this setup? The nickname for uh, this is this something I put together. This is all angstad arms and dead foot arms. So this shenanigans. is a uh, it's a pretty it's skip a pretty ahead cool if you're, if concept. Too much, okay. With the stock yeah, we went away on a trip, and she watched the dog. And, could, and then you got the. Uh, I left. I told oh, Sophia I keep this like behind the TV I mean, there. Just grab it and shoot. I've got to and try it's quiet like after and blow your ears out. And, you know. so I just take this here, drop it back on, and it's on. So, that said, that's pretty much what she looks like. It's, so we got back and shit. Everything was fine. We didn't have any okay. problems. Not Saturday. Didn't have to worry about anything because I had shenanigans behind the TV. Just days away from me. You're just minutes away from greatness. That, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do the uh, paper drill. I want to do some more build drills and get that out of the way. I'm going to throw some picks up there of last week's uh, Saturdays, I should say, and it, it's getting better. I don't know how I'm going to top that last week. I mean, I missed one, so it could have been faster because I accidentally tried to do. I tried to do again box, box, circle. You see the picture. I'm going to do five. Five, which is ten rounds in one one mag. Mag swap, three to the circle. With that one right there, where I only missed one, but the circle shows the one that I missed. I went low left, totally flinched and felt it. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to do that. I I want to be positive and be like I'm going to do it. But you want to see a serious face? Like, subscribe, and share. This here is nice right there. I'm making some more of these uh, 165 grain uh, for the shouting. Uh, these are the 165 grains. Load these up. Skip ahead if you're if I'm talking too much, okay? And the gauge. Looks good to me. I also have a spare Glock barrel, and you can see it match up quite nicely there. Uh, I'll see you then, because it's that was Tuesday yesterday, now it's Wednesday. So, see you Saturday.
Insensitivity alert. Insensitivity alert. Saturday. Finally. Where you been? Like I said, minutes away for you. Days for me. I've been waiting on you. Here I am. Where we drop that brass in the grass, folks. That's right. For the chicken crows. So today we're going to start out on paper like we've done before. Uh, we run in the Glock, empty. Um, like I said, we're gonna be messing around with mag changes between the Glock and PC9, AR9, PCC, whatever you want to call it. Um, like I said, that's what we're running here. So, uh, what is it? 55 degrees out right now, so it's a little blustery. Is that right? Is that nice, that blaster. And uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little garment on. Uh, I might not. I might not. I might. I think I can. I, no, I got this. I don't need no garment. I'm from PA. I know what cold weather is, and it ain't this. So we're gonna run the uh, paper drill. I'm gonna do five, five, mag swap, three to the center, and let's see. Hopefully, I can get all shots in this time. I got one out last week. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to top that, man. We'll give it a shot. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna be trying to trying to work through some of the camera issues we've I had. You know, I'm gonna use the head attachment, and this time I'm gonna put a hat on so it'll help tighten it up a little bit. And I'm also gonna use the chest rig. Chest rig seems to work pretty good. Um, I kind of like the 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 head one though a little better. So we're gonna try both. We'll see how it works out. So. Um, with that said, let's get started and let's go out to the ranch. Well, that's it. Could have been a lot worse if you ask me, to be honest. We're gonna do three, three, and three. We'll try it again. slow but not really planning anything just wanted to keep it real yeah let's do it again all right again all right let's do double taps now Problem with double taps with the PC9 here with the shenanigans. I'm having a problem with double taps, double taps with the Glock. So double tap the Glock, singles for the AR9.
think that might have been a little better. Make it work. Make it work. On the move. Uh-uh. On the move. On the move. Distractions next week. That's what I'm learning from this one. The distractions, a little bit too much, too many distractions. You know, no, got to concentrate when you're going to pull the magazine, and then you're, you're pulling the magazine. And this is this is why you should train this stuff because if stuff happens, I mean, you're going to be all confused and freaking out. So the rustiness is, uh, or the lack of skill set for some of the stuff that I'm training on, that I'm putting on tape, um, is that's a reason why I'm doing this so I can actually get better. So this isn't me being proficient. This is me learning how to do something. I've not ran around like this a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing it because I clearly see what I need to work on. Um, I like the idea of switching shoulders when you're going around a corner like that. But next week is just going to be Glock. So I'm probably going to do one more episode with the Glock and then switch back out to something else. I might do another. Maybe I'll do an episode three and a four. I don't know yet. We'll see. I need to look at the footage of this and see how terrible it was and try to get better at the on the move. Boy, that was rough. We'll see what I can make it. I did like the 25 yard shot standing still yeah. the second Woo. time around. I, I definitely see some, some, but on the move is not as easy. And I kept everything dawned on me. So this, this uh, pistol rifle, this PCI was on me the whole time. So that's another thing too. I mean, you, you're, I wanted to be, I'm not going to make it comfortable. I'm going to make it uncomfortable, right? So I left it on even when I was on the move. Um, I left it on for the 25 yard shots as well because this setup I want to use together. The, the Glock, you know, for the reasons that I think you should know by now. So these, these, you know, if one goes down, if my AR9 goes down, I'm no longer out all this ammo because I simply use it in the Glock. So that's why, that's the whole idea. Like, you know, what I want to do is trust this AR9 enough. It still needs to, I like that it didn't have many, it didn't really have, it didn't have any failures. The only failure it had a couple times was not locking back, which it's an AR9. They, they're going to do that sometimes. So you're just going to have to rack them. I definitely got to get a different charging handle for it though. The charging handle is, is so terrible. It's a $9 charging handle on a $3,500 gun. And I broke the one charging handle and refused to pay $100 for another Radian. And I'm probably going to have to just bite the bullet because it sucks. It's so bad. You can barely, I slip off trying to pull it. It's like that big. So it's terrible. Here, look. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's so small. I just like, I slip all the time, especially when you're sweaty. I'm a sweaty pig. So uh, everything's not, everything's in good shape. Witness marks are, dun, dun, dun. Are, uh, are off. I'm gonna have to like, you know, tighten it up and loosen it and be zero and everything else, man. So definitely gonna be an episode four, three, four, and five or something. I don't know. I'm gonna zero to my own time. That, that sucks. Anyway, train comfortably, train uncomfortably, train to your surroundings, put whatever you do better train and check your witness marks.